Welcome back to the program. It's great to have you with us today. Here's a really interesting defense that is being um, uh, used in a Labor Day cookout killing that took place. This is out of Raw Story. There's a, lawyers for a Florida man this week who are actually citing George W. Bush's preemptive war in Iraq and the Bush Doctrine as a defense after their client killed two neighbors and attempted to kill a third one on Labor Day. Florida Today reported about this, and attorneys for William Woodward filed a motion asking for charges against him to be dropped under Florida Stand Your Ground law, which says gun owners, as we know, don't have a duty to retreat when they are facing an imminent danger. Now, the question of imminence is the subject of a lot of debate, as you and I have talked about many times, Lewis. And according to officials in Titusville, Woodward actually snuck up on his neighbors while they were having a Labor Day barbecue. Police responding to the scene found that Gary Lee Hembry, Roger Picior, and Bruce Timothy had all been shot. Hembry and Picior were later pronounced dead. Blake survived, even though he um, uh, had been hit 11 times. And in their motion, Woodward's attorneys claimed that the victims had called him names and threatened to, quote, get him. Now, think about this, Lewis. We talk about stand your ground. They had called him names and threatened to get him. But in order to shoot them, he had to sneak up on a different backyard. That certainly doesn't appear to be an imminent threat to me, but apparently the law says that it could also include uh, something that is likely to occur in the future, at least according to his attorneys. Here's where it gets really weird. The court document filed by the defense cites the Bush Doctrine, which is the foreign policy principle that was used by George W. Bush to justify going into Iraq. Uh, and it embraces preventive or preemptive war. So basically, his attorneys are saying in the same way that George W. Bush went into Iraq preemptively, our client, Mr. Woodward, was right to preemptively, because he had been told that they were going to get him and they called him names, sneak into someone else's backyard and try to kill three people, successfully succeeding in killing two of them. Is the defense making a complete mockery of the legal system here? It seems like it. I, I can't think of, uh, I can't imagine this works. I mean, it seems like stand your ground could still technically work, but the Bush doctrine, that seems a little, a little far-fetched. We might as well just give everybody guns and let the chaos ensue. I mean, if this is a legitimate defense, then I, I can't even imagine what the next layer of this thing is going to be. Right. Uh, the, the judge here is, is going to uh, be, well, I should say the verdict here is definitely going to set a precedent. I, I hope it's one that uh, that is, I don't know, realistic and legitimate.